Hello, I'm the Anybus Communicator, an industrial protocol gateway. I may be small, but I assure you, I pack a pretty, powerful, punch. I can instantly transfer up to 1500 bytes of data, in both directions. So I won't be the one slowing you down. I seamlessly connect industrial devices to any industrial or field bus network, steadily preventing unnecessary and costly downtime. They call me a high-performance gateway, but just like the rest of my crew, I prefer to see myself as the strong silent type, rugged, hardworking, industrial. All of my cutting-edge security features may seem a bit excessive, but I refuse to be your weakest link. My approachability is what really makes me special. You don't need special training to get me configured. And wait until you see my user interface. Curious? I don't blame you. Hello and welcome to the release webinar of the Anybus Communicator EtherCAT main device, which we're just releasing today. Uh, my name is Thomas Carlson, Marketing Communications Manager here at HMS Networks in Halmstad, Sweden. And with me in the room, we have Fredrik Brynolf, Product Manager for Anybus Gateways, a good guest, I guess, if you're talking about gateways. Welcome, uh, Fredrik. I hope so, Thomas. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so, uh, and we're also going to talk about the new product emulator, uh, which allows you to see the uh, the GUI, the graphical user interface of the Anybus Communicator uh, online without buying the product. So, we're looking forward to seeing that. Uh, but um, yeah, let, let's have a look at the, the main character here for today, the uh, Anybus Communicator EtherCAT main device. Um, when we talked earlier this fall, I think it was, Frederick, you talked about a new armada of, of uh, Enfus gateways hitting the market that last fall, and now new variants for, for EtherCAT. Uh, how do you keep up with the pace? Yeah, our, our engineering teams really deserve the credit. I mean, they've done a fantastic work. I mean, releasing new products this soon after releasing 12 products, it's, it's amazing. Um, another key is that we have really good software and hardware architecture, as well as production process so we can really quickly get new products out. Right, so a structure that allows us to get new networks uh, uh, out on the market quickly. Um, so tell us a bit more about the, the uh, EtherCAT uh, choice. Why, is, uh, why EtherCAT? Why now? You know, I want to offer our customer a broad portfolio so we can solve like every communication problem they face. And EtherCAT uh, Master has been a missing piece of that puzzle for some time. And now we're filling that hole. In addition, EtherCAT is one of the fastest growing networks. I mean, looking at our own network statistics in 2020, EtherCAT had a market share of 7%. Mm -hmm. And in 2022, it was 11%. Growing so quickly. that's quite significant. And it's now the third largest network. And it's also the sort of standard network in the semiconductor industry. Right. Which is a rapidly growing industry indeed. Yeah. 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 Right, so, so this is the a master version for, for, for the cat uh, uh, called main device, because, the, yeah, I guess the terminology master and slave is not that applicable in 2023. So, so uh, we have a lot of new tech uh, terminology. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you have to get used to the new names. Um, now master is called main device. And slave is called subordinate device or sub device. Right. So, so it's once you learn, it's quite easy. You can't really mix them up. Yeah, yeah, P pretty pretty easy to understand. And um, of course, the main device allows us to allows the user not to have a PLC on the EtherCAT side. Uh, you can have, you have that on the on the other side, so to speak. Uh, it doesn't do all the work of a PLC, of course, but it allows you to connect EtherCAT devices to a foreign network and the PLC or control system. For example, uh, an EtherCAT device to a Profinet PLC. Right. Um, so speaking about the availability, wh when can you get your hands on this? Yeah, they, they will be available from 1st of June for June. order. Mm -hmm. Right. And does this apply to all the uh, connections, all the, the other networks? Uh, we will launch five variants. Mm -hmm. So we have the Profibus variant, the Ethernet IP variant, the Profinet variant, 
the Malbas TCP variant, and then the common Ethernet variant. The common Ethernet. Ethernet. Talk a little bit more about that. A yeah, common Ethernet just allows you to select the Ethernet network you want to run. So on the fly, you can change network if you want to. Right. So you can buy a couple of uh, communicators, have them on stock, and then when you need different networks, you just download the, the correct firmware. Exactly. So with just one unit in stock, you can cover a lot of ground. Right. Makes uh, delivery much faster than you. Um, so let, let's dive in a little bit under the hood and look at, look at the new features. What, what are the, the features that we can see on this uh, new product? Obviously, it leverages a lot of the features from the new communicator. Uh, so you get the ability to transfer up to 1500 bytes. You get the common Ethernet. Uh, you also get low latency, so the data transfer is super fast. Uh, and you also get the latest security technology. Right. And then on the usability side, you get the forward-facing ports. Uh, you get the Ethernet configuration port, so no, no special cables uh, to, to find or adapters to use. Mm -hmm. Uh, you also get the web user interface, so no software to install. Okay. Uh, and you also get what we call scan and map. Mm -hmm. So basically you scan the Ethernet network and then you map the devices you find towards the PLC or control system. Right, okay. So it's really convenient to, to do the configuration even if it's a master. Right. Quick and easy to get going. Yeah, right. uh, and we'll have a look at the the user interface in, in, in just a little while. Um, what about limitations? Are there any limitations you see? Yeah, the scan and map is really handy, <clears throat> but there are some limitations to keep in mind. Uh, we can't upload ESI files. We can only scan the network, so that's that's one limitation. Uh, another limitation is that you get all the data from a device, so you can't pick and choose. So that, I guess that also makes it a bit easier because it, since you can't pick and choose, it's, it's harder to make, make mistakes and, and also you, you know what's on the network and then it gets uploaded to the, to, to the communicator. Exactly. I mean, we, we go on for simplicity. Normally you just have a few devices connected, mm -hmm. so then it's really simple to do the configuration rather than spending a lot of time doing all the details. Mm -hmm. so, Let's have a look at a scenario. So let's say that I'm a um, device manufacturer or a machine builder uh, and I want to uh, deploy uh, uh, 10 different machines. Uh, how, how do I do that? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, Thomas. Well, first you do a reference setup. Mm -hmm. and you, Normally you have that as, anyway. And then you scan that network and do the entire configuration. And then you just export that configuration file and then you import that to the remaining nine devices. Okay, so, so you do it once and then you can just copy that configuration. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Helping the automation engineer once again. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's the, uh, some news about the, the, the new Anybus communicator uh, for, for Ethercat. Um, we, we talked about the, um, the user interface before, and, and we have a product emulator that's available now on the web page that you can actually have, have a look at and uh, try it out without buying the product. Uh, tell us a bit more on the background about that before we look at it. Yeah, we, we've seen a couple of trends in the market. You know, everything is going digital. We know. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> I mean, customers are evaluating our products online. Uh, uh, they're even buying our products online, and it's growing in many of the markets. So how can we uh, show the benefits of our product in this context? And in addition, we also see that uh, we want to further understand how we can improve the products. And I'm, I'm a bit envious of, uh, for web products that can sort of do real-time mm -hmm. user insights based on statistics. And those two sort of combined into this product emulator, mm -hmm. where we both can show the products to the customer before they buy, and they can experience it. And we can also get statistics, so we can continuously improve the product. All right, okay. Um, sh should I have a look at the, uh, at the user interface? Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, so uh, we're in the emulator here, and this is available uh, via nbus.com. Yeah, you go into anybus.com, click on gateways and find the emulator. All right, so first you have to select what product you want to try. So either the network-to-network -network communicators, 
the serial or the new wireless bolt too. All right. uh, and in this case, let's go for the Profinet variant mm -hmm. to Ethernet IP. And the uh, new Ethercat uh, master or the uh, main device will be here. It will be here very soon, yeah. Right, so then you hit the go button. Then you get the user interface available here. So you can try it out. Mm -hmm. You start on the home page, and here you get an overview of the status of the gateway. And to make this real, we use simulated data. So you can see how it will work in the field. And it also shows here that it's an emulated version. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, of course, you can do the configuration of each network. And then you can also do the mapping towards the PLC. Uh, you can al also do uh, the detailed byte swap if you want to. So we can actually do swapping. Uh, yeah. Drag and drop. Uh, drag and drop. Really convenient. Uh, so you can try that out. And you can even try out the diagnostics. So this is the IO data monitor that shows the data that goes through the gateway. And you can monitor, monitor on each side. So if you start that, you can see some simulated data right. to give you an understanding of the, how, how the product will work in the field. Right, there by the name product emulator, of course. Yeah. Uh, very, very nice. And this is available if you just go to anyboss.com and uh, register and you can try it out online. Hmm? Yeah. Right. And I see that you even have the language versions here if you want to choose. Yeah, that's uh, actually a new feature that we're rolling mm -hmm. out. Uh, you can uh, select among different languages, and uh, once you get it into the product, it will actually select your default language based on the web browser. So you, you don't have to choose language, it will just come natural. Easy enough. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. So. Um, Please do try that out. Uh, it's available on anybus.com already. Uh, Frederick, thank you very much for talking, about, talking to us about the new Anybus communicator, EtherCAT main device, uh, which we're releasing today. Uh, so we're staying around here for a few more minutes to answer any questions you may have using the chat function. Uh, so uh, talk to the uh, Anybus gateway team there, who's sitting behind the, uh, the screens right now and taking questions you may have. Uh, Frederick, thanks very much for talking to us and thank you very much for listening.